Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Hi everybody, it's Justin from On Tabletop, and today, Jerry, we have more Wild West Exodus. Yes. So who do we have here? We have the legendary Marie Laveau. Mm. Looking so, not dissimilar to a giant fish woman. Yeah, it's pretty swampy. Yeah. And whenever the model is built, it's actually a fair size. So mm. let's uh, crack open the box, shall we? From which end? From this end. Yep. All right. Uh, Jerry, I will let you open baggies and stuff here. Very decent of you. In um, fact, yeah, here's the, the instant indication of just how big it is. Uh, 60 mil? Yeah, that's a big 60 mil base for Wild West Exodus. So this is quite the huge leader. You're probably going to have a bit of a, a challenge hiding her. Mm. Well, me and Bobby. Considering that's what she looks like, you want to hide her? Yeah, maybe. She, she's pretty. <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of nice because the, the regular Marie Laveau is a sort of a, a voodoo priestess kind of feel to her. Right. And so this is her in her true form, I would assume, which is really sort of Lovecraftian and horrible. Yeah. She, she has a tentacled monstrosity. Yes. Speaking of which, uh, have, we have, have, tentacles. Some, have some legs. Uh, well, tentacles, not legs. Really nice detail. I love the fact that they've got some like extra texture details just around the front because it's one thing if you're doing like squid tentacles or mm. octopus tentacles, sometimes they can look very smooth and very dull, but these are like spiked and warty and stuff. Yeah. And then, oof, this is a big component. So this is the. She the has torso. a massive ass. Yes, uh, I do have one gripe. Which is, this is something I dislike to see, is whenever companies start using huge vents to actually go into the model, the huge gates, because they can become a real pain in the butt to take off. With something that size, though. Yeah, you kind of need it. Yeah. I can understand why they're doing it, but I don't know. Although it's, it's kind of nice, they've also went right in beneath, all the, the details are there as well, so yeah. for anyone who wants to paint the bottom of the miniature, where you'll never see it under the base, you can. It depends. It depends how she ends up being used. Because if mm. there was a painter in there who wanted to do something like diorama, a yeah. diorama in the swamp mm -hmm. and use clear resins to work through it, then yeah. you might want to see the the ass end, so to speak. I quite like her staff. Yeah, the staff is really, really cool. She's got Baron Samdi's head on a stick. <laughs> well, why wouldn't she if she's you know yep. taken over? Uh, it's all. Plug in socket joint, so everything's going to go together really nicely on this. And our last one? We, we have a final arm. A final arm holding, oh no, oh no, oh no, some oh, poor oh unfortunate yes. adventurer has been captured. Although the details even on him are really good. Yeah. Beautiful, even the braiding on the um, Actually, that's uniform. a lady. Apologies. That's a lady she's caught. Can't tell these days. Oh, well, you can. Let's get a, a quick look at mm. what's on the iPad. Yep. So uh, we have her main stat. So 275 points, not bad. Uh, grit of 8 is fantastic. Uh, 3 fortune, eh, it's not bad. Uh, and then down into her weapons. Fetish staff, parry disrupt this place. Piercing minus 1, meh. Iridescent breath. Ah, Torrent's good because you don't need to roll the hit. And it just does a minus three hit, which is pretty damn powerful. I'm assuming that's some sort of squid ink. Yeah, possibly. That's her bum, covers you in squid ink. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got some, some special rules for her as well. Ah, there's one I quite like. Savant. So once uh, per turn when activated, the unit may spend two action points for its owning player to select and examine a random card from their opponent's hand of adventure cards. The chosen card must be discarded and a new one drawn. That's uh, interesting. To replace it. It basically means you can mill your opponent's hand a yeah. little bit. And there's another one here as well, which is, I think it's Fate Weaver down the bottom. Yes, so once per turn when activated, you can spend two action points to look at the top three cards from an opponent's adventure deck or their action deck and shuffle them into any order and replace them on top of that deck. So one of the key things for Wild West Exodus is I'll activate all my stuff, yep. you'll activate all your stuff. And then we're drawing off the top of the action deck to see who has priority for the next round. Mm. So if you save this for the end of a round, you can look at it and give your opponent a really crap one to kind of sort yeah. of give you the better odds of getting the, the priority yeah, for the yeah. next round if you need it. 
try and maintain or hold on to it. Mm. Yeah. There's quite a bit of control with this character. But uh, the only thing to do now is go away, get her built. Get her built. Uh, the, the vents and stuff we were pointing out in the part one, they all come off okay? Yeah. Just get in there with a pair of clippers mm. and then trim back the rest with uh, a knife afterwards. There's a bit of slippage, so she hasn't been totally cleaned up. She's just been glued together to show mm. how she looks. But, I mean, one of the vent points is there, right on, if you flip her over to where my fingertip is. Yeah. You can see it just came right off. Uh, and Push. you've got another one right yep. here as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Although I do like this pose where it's, she's picked up some poor hapless person who's just gently touching them on the collar. Oh, yeah, no, it's just stroking their, all. stroking their chin with yeah, their yeah. fingertip. Going, hello. <laughs> hello, little one, walking well, into my she, swamps. She, she's probably Cajun, so, you know. It's yeah, I, sort of I am never going to. Yeah. Kind of I am never trying to do a Cajun accent yeah. on this show. I tell you that now. Lovely model. Mm. We talked about the rules. Would this tempt you to actually pick up and paint? Oh yeah, there's a lot of work you could do with something squiddly like this. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's uh, going to work with the actual, I think something weird actually, like a a blue ring octopus. Mm -hmm. So yellow with the really vivid blues all oh. the way down because she looks quite green and bland. Yeah, if that well, makes sense on the actual on the picture and paint job. It's you know, it, kind of dark and yeah, grimy. It's it's something that would be easy to do, mm. but I think because you're saying there's a human version of her, mm -hmm. and then on the human version, do the same yellow with blue, like almost blue rings or blue flowers on her dress, assuming oh. she's wearing a dress, just Ooh. to tie them both together. That I think work. that would be cool. Yeah, that could work. So, well, there we are. I'll tell you what, everybody. Tell us how you would paint Marie Laveau. Is she someone you use for your hacks faction? Uh, myself and Jerry, I'll move mm. on. See you again another time. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.